The need for inspectors is a growing trend across the United States and quite frankly anywhere. Um, we have more safety requirements these days. Seems like every year there's more and more safety requirements wherever it is that you're at. Uh, maybe you're in the public, you're in a commercial building, at your home, whatever it is, there's something that new that you didn't know about that was added to the code book. I mean, this right here is uh, the International Residential Code for just houses and duplexes. And I swear, sometimes I wake up in the morning and the thing got thicker. Um, but anyways, um, if you are looking to become an inspector or um, you're just looking for a career change, it is a great place to be. <laughs> I've been an inspector for almost nine years and I enjoy it. Um, the trend or the, the idea, the thought that you have to be in the trades for 20 or 30 or 40 years before you can become an inspector are long gone. Uh, younger generations are becoming inspectors. Uh, you, can, uh, you can have a degree. You can have time in the field, in the trade. And don't get me wrong, if you have knowledge in a specific trade, electrical, mechanical, plumbing, building, framing, whatever it is, um, sure, that will help you through the process and give you that additional knowledge to do uh, whatever inspections are that, that you're looking to get into. Uh, but you don't have to have it anymore. Uh, you can get certified, you can do the homework, you can read the code books, uh, and you, once you're certified, you, know, you can go out there and get a job and you're certified to inspect that specific component within a building or a structure. Um, but it is great. I can tell you, um, I get asked all the time, aren't you a little bit young to be an inspector? And I say, no, I, I mean, I've been doing it for almost nine years. And then you go, oh, okay. All right. You know, so no matter what your age is, no matter, uh, uh you know, where you're from, what you do, uh, you can become an inspector if it's something that, uh, that piques your interest. Uh, for myself, you know, I spent time out in the field, uh, as a superintendent. I do have some college, uh, uh, class background, a degree in construction management. So I, I've spent a lot of time in the construction field, but at the end of the day, I didn't want to put on tool bags and I didn't want to like, you know, break my back for 20 years and be, you know, just kind of have my body beat up. But I really, really liked being out on the job site. I liked hearing the dirty jokes and I liked having those kind of conversations and just talking with people out on the job site. I just love being outside. And I loved being a part of that. And I thought, well, we're, how can I get that, uh, you know, without actually doing the work? Well, I found that being an inspector, I get to kind of have um, the best of both worlds. You know, I get, uh, I, I spend a little time looking at plans. I get to understand the construction process. Uh, I get to help people work through it. So I get to help, which is what I enjoy doing. I help teaching. And so, uh, you know, when homeowners or contractors have questions, I get to help them out. And, um, and I don't have to, I don't have to worry about the, the stress of making sure the project's done on time or if I miss something or if there's a plumbing leak or something like that. Uh, I do my inspections. I help out with the project. I move on to the next one. So a career as a building inspector or any type of inspector is great. Um, now what types of inspections or inspectors are out there? Um, you might get confused a little bit. There's home inspectors, right? And those would be someone that would show up. You would, you as the homeowner or someone who's buying a house would call them and have them come look at your house before you buy it. That would be like a home inspector. You might have a special inspector, which would be mostly in like construction or commercial construction realm, um, where they might look at just special components, maybe welding or rebar or um, fire caulk or concrete testing or stuff like that. So that'd be like a special inspector. And then you have inspectors that are part of your building department, which is what I am. So I'm a building and plumbing inspector, but I have certifications to inspect mechanical, plumbing, building. I'm certified to do plans examination, and I'm also certified as a building official. So I've gone through and taken those tests, and I'm now certified to do that. Even though I don't inspect all of those areas, 
I'm certified to do so. And anybody out there can go get certified in those areas as well and more. There are tons of different certifications nowadays. Like I said, with all the new safety requirements and all of the um, changes in energy and um, you know solar panels and separate types of uh, energy efficiencies and buildings and um, green, right? Getting into green building and what makes a building green and energy efficient. Um, all those types of items come into play. So I'm talking mostly about a building inspector or an inspector that works for a building department. Uh, special inspectors are usually like private, meaning like someone has a business and you can go work for that particular business just like a typical job right not that uh i don't have just a typical job but i work for a government right i work for a city um, or you might work for a county or for a state as far as um, more of the the building inspector side of things go and now within that building inspector you might be certified as a plumbing inspector an electrical inspector a mechanical inspector and all of those types of inspectors might be employed by a government agency. And then obviously like a home inspector, you're probably self-employed or you work for some type of uh, um, franchise or business that does home inspections. But I wanted to at least put the information out there for anybody who is looking to be an inspector. It is a great career to take on. It's fun. It's exciting. You get to meet with all different types of people. And even if projects are generally the same, they never are the same. Meaning I can go into 50 different houses of someone just finishing their bathroom or building a new bathroom in their basement. And every time it's a little different, right? It's not the same person doing the work. The framing's not the same. Um, the adjustments aren't the same if you have to retrofit something. Uh, so it's always a little bit different. But where would you go to get certified? Well, I'm going to show you here. You go to ICCSafe.org. So ICC is the International Code Council. And that is if you're interested in getting certified in any particular item, you can start there. Go to ICCSafe.org. I'm going to hop over to the website and just kind of show you what uh, some of the different types of uh, certifications are that you can get. You can also go down to your local building department and just say, hey, like, I want to become an inspector. What do you guys require for certifications? What would help me get a position? Uh, home inspectors, at least in the state I'm in, uh, you have to go through a certification to become a home inspector. And so I don't quite know the avenues to go through for that, but you can, I'm sure you can, you can find it. And then uh, special inspectors, same thing. You go to iccsafe.org and you can look up all types of special inspection certifications. So let's hop over to the website. So this would be iccsafe.org, and this is the assessment center. And if you go down into here, you can see there's 28 pages worth of certifications, 273 exams. So I'm gonna go over to here, I'll go to building, and we'll just see what pops up. So they have specific ones for Kansas, we have residential, Let's see here, we've got building contractor. So you can see that you have all these different certifications. It tells you what uh, you need to look at to get certified. Here's the 2018 International Building Code. Here is the, uh, let's see here, here's the 2018 International Building Code, the Residential Code. So it's telling you what you have to reference and it's telling you what it takes to pass the exam. And this is a G2 building contractor trade exam. I am certified as a uh, commercial building inspector. Okay, so I typed in, uh, I just went and typed in residential inspector. And so here they have 11 results found. So they have one B, so they have residential inspector for Florida. And they have all look at all these. They have a residential inspector for California. Um, here's just the B1 inspector right here. So this would be just your general category uh, residential inspector. And it's telling you again, here's you just got to look at the 2021 international code. It tells you price, the test, open book. You know, it tells you all that information. 
So if you're looking to become an inspector, you just got to find out what exams you need to take for whatever it is you're interested in and just verify, you know, that wherever you're trying to get a job, that that's the correct certification that you need. Just go out there and study for it. Um, wherever you're looking to get a job from, if, if you've met with them and talked with them, ask them if they have code books you could borrow, you know, and you don't necessarily always have to take the current code cycle. So the current code cycle, uh, at least during this video is 2021. Uh, but you might be able to take the 2018 co test or the 2015 test, but you're still certified, if that makes sense. You've still taken the test, you've still become certified, and you've still gotten that certification. Um, so maybe, like I said, if, if wherever you're working has older code books, even the 2018s, you can borrow them, you can study them, you don't have to purchase them at that point, and, uh, and you can go take the test with them because they are open book. You just follow the requirements. Sometimes you can you can highlight in there. You can go through it all. Once you know it, take the test, pass it, and go get a job and, and have fun being a building inspector. I know I do. I enjoy I enjoy helping homeowners. I enjoy helping contractors and helping people get through their projects. It's just, it's it's fun. So hopefully you enjoy it too. Hopefully this helps. If you uh, if you like the video, hit like and obviously subscribe. If you uh, are looking to become an inspector and you're like, I just don't have any knowledge at all in uh, anything related to construction, I just would really like to be an inspector. Uh, you can check out some of my guides at buildingcodetips.com. Um, they're for homeowners, you know, trying to work through their home projects, going through uh, building code requirements and tips and tricks to kind of get through things. And uh, you could review those. They might help you out, give you an idea on, on how things would work and how an inspector myself might look at them and, uh, you know, help give you a little bit of knowledge as well. So hopefully if you're going down this direction, you get what you're looking, you know, what type of job you're looking for and, uh, and you have fun with it. This has been with Building Code Tips and uh, have a good one.